Hello there, it's Mr. Logue, and in this video we're going to be looking at multiplying a percentage by a whole number. You may have seen a calculation like this before, 15% multiplied by 440, and it sometimes can look a little bit more confusing than it is. There are two things to remember to make you feel a little bit more confident, and that's firstly that a percentage is the same as a fraction. It's just the denominator is 100 because percent means 100. And whatever that number is, is that over 100. So actually, we're just finding 15 hundredths multiplied by 440. The second thing to remember is that when we are have fractions multiplied by a whole number, we can think of the multiply sign as meaning of. So actually, what we're finding in this calculation is 15 hundredths of 440. So our answer is going to be smaller than 440. Let's look at our first method for solving this type of calculation. This is method one, and that's finding it using key percentages. Our key percentages, you may remember from another video, 50% we can find by dividing by 2. We can find 25% of a number by dividing it by 4. We can find 10% of a number by dividing by 10. And we can find 1% of a number by dividing by 100. We can also use those to find other percentages. For instance, if we found 10% of a number, we can then divide that answer by 2 to find 5%, because 10 is double 5, and 5 is half of 10. To find other percentages that are not part of the key percentages, all we need to do is add those key percentages together. For example, 15% is 10% plus 5%. If we find 10% of a number and find 5% of that number, add those two answers together, we will have found 15%. Let's try that out with a calculation. 15% multiplied by 440. So as we know, multiply in this instance is the same as meaning of. So first we're going to find 10% of 440. And after that, we'll need to find 5% because 10 and 5 make 15. Can you remember how to find 10% of a number? That's right, you divide that number by 10. 440 divided by 10. And when we're dividing by 10, the digits move one place to the right. So that zero is going to go past the decimal point. The four moves into the ones and the other four moves into the 10. So 10% 10 of 440 is 44. To find 5% of 440, we can take this answer and divide it by two. 44 divided by 2. Well, half 4 is 2, half 4 is 2. So 5% of 440 must be 22. Let's add those two percentages together to find 15%. 44 plus 22. 44 plus 22 is 66. That means that 15% multiplied by 440 is 66. Method two for multiplying percentages by whole numbers is to multiply, then divide by 100. We first use short multiplication to multiply the whole number by the percentage number. And then after that, we divide the answer by 100. Right, so let's first use that 
column multiplication, we're multiplying the whole number by the percentage number. Starting with the ones, five times zero is zero. Five times four is 20. I can put the zero in here and then I'll put the little two up here and remember to add it on in a moment. Five times four, 20, plus the two, 22. Moving on to our tens, what we'll need to do, because this one shows 10, is put the zero in here as a place value holder. One times zero is zero. One times four is four. One times four is four. Let's add those together. Zero and zero make zero. Zero plus zero is zero. Two plus four is six. Two plus four is six. That's step one, multiplying the numbers together. Step two is to divide the answer by 100. And if we remember from before, when we divide by 100, the digits all move one place, two places, apologies, to the right. Two places to the right, the six moves to here, and that six moves to here, giving us an answer of 66. Some people would just say that we could pop the decimal point in there, and we can already see our answer. I'll leave that up to you. Here are three similar calculations for you to practice with. 15% multiplied by 240, 15% multiplied by 420, and 35% multiplied by 160. Pause the video now, have a go at solving them, and then unpause to check your answers. Here come the answers. 15% of 240 is 36. 15% of 420 is 63. And 35% of 160 is 56. Let's just go through those steps for each method again. Method one using key percentages. To find those key percentages, to divide by two, we'll find 50%. Divide by four, we'll find 25%. Dividing by 100, we'll find 1%. Dividing by 10, we'll find 10%. To find 5%, you can divide by 10, then divide your answer by two. Add the percentages that help you find your answer together. Method two, multiply, then divide by 100. Use short multiplication to multiply the whole number by the percentage number. Then divide your answer by 100. That's how you can multiply a percentage by a whole number. Bye for now.